Hey everybody, Dr. Grant Collins here. So as an orthodontist, almost every day I hear from our teen and adult patients that they're nervous about what braces will look like on their teeth. And so that's why I thought it'd be a cool idea to do a makeup tutorial video to show them different looks they can have during their time in braces to make them feel confident and beautiful. My team at Collins Orthodontics thought it'd be a good idea to have a professional do this video, but they obviously don't know how easy it is to put makeup on faces. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the tutorial myself and show you guys um, how to do makeup during your time in braces. The first step to putting makeup on a person with braces is to go buy a makeup kit and then throw on a deep v-neck t-shirt. The deeper the better if you really are looking for optimal makeup application. The makeup will usually come in a colored tackle box that looks like this. And so you're gonna open it up, just like so, and there it is. And this one in particular I saw, you can pull out just like <laughs> so, and all your kit is in there ready to go. So the next step is to identify the face. If you don't know where the face is, then you really shouldn't be putting makeup on at all. Then you wanna outline the face with the face outlining tool. This is really important, especially for those people who colored outside the lines as kids, because otherwise you won't know where to put the makeup. So you grab the face outlining tool like this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get us started. So go ahead and give, show them real quick. Maybe just turn your head to the side. Now that the face has been outlined, the next step is to first grab the makeup watercolor kit. And the technical term for this is actually the blush. You know, then you identify five to 10 of your favorite colors to apply solely to the cheekbones. I tend to go with blues and reds and yellows because it's fun and flirty, but also fiercely intimidating. If you pair this with a fun sleeveless jean top and some off-white cargo pants, you really impress so many of your friends at the roller skating rink. I'm actually going to the roller skating rink after this. What are the <laughs> chances? Cheekbones only. So the next step is the, the eyebrow pencil. This is mainly used to get bigger and bushier eyebrows. But we're gonna just get this started, just like so. They are feeling a lot of Yep. And for dramatic effect, you wanna make sure you connect it. And so make sure you just pull them together. <laughs> just, just <laughs> this is what I was looking for. This is mainly for dramatic effect, because when, <laughs> when you're at the roller skating rink, that... <laughs> Because when you're at the roller skating rink, you want to make sure that nobody misses your eyebrows. Scowling at people will really, really have an empowered feel for you. If you're having trouble with the eyebrow pencil, then I recommend grabbing what's called an eyebrow marker. The best makeup brand for that would be Crayola. That way we can go big and dark and bold. Boom! No one's even gonna <laughs> recognize your braces anymore. Eyebrows don't happen by chance, they happen by appointment. You can never underestimate the power of the brow. So the next part is crucial to making your braces less noticeable. It's called lipstick. What we want to do is start out with a really light coat, but who really wants just light coat, right? Everybody knows that giant lips are the greatest fashion trend right now. What you want to do is use the lipstick liberally to give the appearance of massive lips. This won't only distract people from your braces, but will also make sure that your duck face selfies are on point. We're gonna go ahead and really make Kiana's lips become more massive. Lots of people talk about Botox and getting lip fillers. Why would you need that if you can use this? And just show them what that duck face selfie looks like. So, yep, exactly. Bigger lips instantly. Finally, there's the lip outlining paint. Um, what this does is really define the lips. And so otherwise people won't know if you slammed your face in a plate of spaghetti versus getting beautified for your big night out at the bowling alley or playing darts. With this particular lip outlining paint, there's some sparkle in it and you just outline them like, like so. And be careful not to get it on the nose. You don't want this to look ridiculous. When all is done, just make sure to give the hair a good brushing. I typically use a black brush and sometimes some water. I always brush downstream, or you might get a bunch of crazy <laughs> tangles. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We're just gonna brush downstream, just like so. The other thing about brushing is you never wanna neglect the eyelashes. Make sure you give those a good brush too. And that's it. So whether it be a date night at Taco Bell, 
or mini golf outing with your friends, your look will be on point. And trust me, nobody will notice your braces anymore. Not, I can't see them. They're not even there.